Well, I was hired as the fire chief in Ham Lake in uh, 2006, and uh, that was fire chief and emergency management director and performed in that role until the uh, um, prior city administrator left in about two years ago, 2015, middle of 2015. And so at that point, I, I remained the fire chief and added on some uh, duties, uh, administrative, additional administrative duties. Don Kruger has been working as a firefighter for more than 30 years. In 1982, I received uh, a postcard that said that the Spring Lake Park Blaine Miles Youth Fire Department was looking for uh, daytime firefighters. I was working a job that had some day availability, so I, I gave them a call and uh, went through the process and did the training and, and joined as a volunteer down there in 1982. And for the last 11 years, he has been the fire chief in Ham Lake. I still answer calls. I still carry a pager. Uh, I do live in uh, neighboring Blaine, so I'm typically here uh, for calls just during my uh, regular work hours. Um, if there's a serious call, I do come back after hours if I'm available. Um, but the calls, the responding with the guys, it's a problem solving. It's uh, you're dealing with people that are not in a good situation often and uh, try to make it better. The fire department, like many throughout the state, is volunteer. We are a volunteer department. I'm the only full-time paid uh, position on the fire department. I have roughly 35, 36 volunteers right now that live in the community. Um, most of them have full-time jobs, so they respond when they're not working um, from home or from, some do from work. We have about 12 pieces of apparatus. We have an engine, two stations, so we have an engine at each station, a ladder, or I'm sorry, a, a tanker at each station. The city of Ham Lake has all private well and septic, which means there's no water in the streets and fire hydrants, so to speak, so if we want water, we have to bring it. And they average more than one emergency call per day. We've averaged for the last several years between 400 and 430 or 50 calls a year. Uh, we're on that same track this year, although a little higher call volume than some of the past years. We respond to fires, but we also respond gas leaks and various, many calls along those types of lines. And then uh, two-thirds or half or two-thirds of our calls are medical or rescue related. While working as the fire chief, the previous city administrator began a phased retirement, then moved into a complete retirement. Kruger began talking to her about her job and if he could help. Those discussions led to discussions with council and mayor, and, um, and uh, it seemed like it was an um, option that was worth pursuing, uh, so we did, and uh, we're two-plus years into it now. So now, as fire chief and acting as city administrator, Kruger says he has learned a lot and still enjoys his work. A lot of learning, um, not too many mistakes, I don't think, but uh, um, it's uh, it's been a it's been a lot of uh, fun. I enjoy coming to work. <laughs>